His team doubling down on accusations against the Trump campaign for giving a platform to, quote, the white nationalist movement. Jennifer Palmieri writing an op-ed in the Washington Post, quote, our campaign lost the election, but Trump's team must own up to how he won. Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway says it's time for Democrats to stop the blame game. Here now is Bruce Turkel, Turkel brand CEO. We got a lot of crises to manage here and some marketing that you have to whip into shape. So we had to pick up the hotline and get our own Bruce Turkel out here. I want to start with the Democrats. Um, and, and, you know, this is the typical thing that happens after, you know, a party gets vanquished. It's happened on both sides many, many times. And they kind of argue about... Was it the way the message was communicated, the messenger, you know, sort of how we got it out? Or is it sort of the core ideas behind it? What do you think is going on with the Democratic Party? I would give them the same advice I give my commercial clients, which is you can spend all the time in the world debating that if you think it matters, or you can decide that you want to do what is going to sell product, or in this case, create electability. It doesn't matter, Melissa. What matters is figuring out how to get into power. Blame games are foolish. Back, uh, backtrack quarterbacking is foolish. How do we move forward if we want to win? That's what every client has to do. It doesn't about. mean that you have to learn from your mistake, because sometimes they're thinking, like, if we don't figure out what we did wrong, if we don't analyze how we lost, <laughs> then how can we do it? Yeah, please, tell me. I'm laughing because learn from their mis the mistake is exactly what needs to happen. There's no point in going back and pontificating and arguing and, and, and laying blame. you got to learn from the mistakes. But the Democrats have been making the same mistakes since 1920s. Remember, Will Rogers wrote, I don't be belong to any organized party. I'm a Democrat. Mm. That has not changed. If you need to be right, you're not concerned about being in power. Okay. And there's a big difference there. I've been interested to talk to you about how Trump is managing things since he was elected, because there were so many stumbles along the way, of course. I mean, it was such an up-and-down campaign. He'd be way out in front, and then something, some marketing disaster would happen, and it looked like he was out of the race. Since the election, though, I mean, he's on the thank you tour, which has created a lot of enthusiasm, or at least has kept his people fired up as he kind of pushes into this period where he needs to galvanize support to get the big things done. I, I dare say, and I'm kind of afraid to say this out loud, I feel like he changed his hair. He's got some new hair going. Oh. I know. I don't. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. The carrier and the Boeing moves, That's you know, both big, loud sort of marketing things where he's sending a message. He's got the camp. We're all watching the golden doors at the tower as people go in and out, you know, Rather than necessarily watching the Twitter, now we're watching the Golden Tower. To me, this has seemed like genius marketing. I want to know your take. I think, again, if you think about what matters is being in power, staying in power, and building that power, what Trump's doing is building on what he already did. You mentioned um, the car carrier. Yeah. Before he got elected, he said, I'm going to be tough on those companies that try to leave. And then he was so tough that he gave him seven million bucks of taxpayer dollars. No, it was their money, Bruce. 7, it was their 000, money, Bruce. 7,000 jobs. No, no, no. Taxpayer dollars. We, no, no, no. Those were taxes they were paying in that they got it's to a keep. Tax break, they got to keep their own profits. It's, anyway, they got to I keep the profits they would have paid in taxes. The point is, though, mathematically, it makes no sense. I mean, certainly it doesn't make the sense that the auto bailout made that saved 1.5 million jobs and got paid back. But the point is, again, it doesn't matter who's right if you yeah. want to stay in power. It was grandstanding. It's what he is great at, and it worked. You yeah. and I can argue whether we like it, dislike <laughs> it, voted, didn't vote. I try to keep it above that and look at strategically it worked. It, Leopards don't change their spots. He's doing exactly what he should be doing. Bruce, I love you. You are always a marketing genius, and I love that we disagree on politics because <laughs> then it's so fun to yes, do these. Do. Come back soon, and we're going to talk <laughs> about the inauguration next time, okay? Oh, I Thank can't you. wait. That's going to be That's going to be guess. a big show, big reality show. Thank yes. you so much, David. But you're right. A tax break is not government's money.